Famous Guitars, episode number 29, and I got a great guitar for you right now from somebody who actually lost a couple fingers before he made it famous. And of course, if you know anything about rock and roll, you know I'm talking about this guitar right here. And of course, I'm talking about Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath with his famous Old Boy SG guitar. Heavy metal founding father Tony Iommi has jumped into bed with guitar after guitar like a groupie hopping from tour bus to tour bus. But for the majority of his career, the Black Sabbath co-founder has remained faithful to an instrument that has come to be known by artists and fans alike as simply old boy. Having previously played a modified Gibson SG Jr. and SG Special, as well as a custom-made John Birch SG style guitar and signature models from Patrick Eggle and Gibson, the bulk of Iommi's devotions from the mid-70s into the 80s and again in recent years has been directed toward an SG style guitar made for him by John Diggins, the man behind the JD brand, also seen as simple JD on many headstocks. You could call it a copy of a copy of a modified Gibson SG G. But as any true Sabbath fan knows, Old Boy is so much more than that. Iommi and Black Sabbath have always been known for making a sound that's monstrously huge, but rather straightforward. And as such, his demands from guitar blend solidly power and simplicity. His battle scar JD carries a pair of custom-made mini humbucking size pickups. In the neck position, a Magnum X, also known as a Hyperflux, based on John Birch design, and in the bridge, a custom-made John Diggins unit. Both high-output pickups have coils wound with extremely fine wire and often cobalt steel magnets rather than the more traditional ceramic. The pickups are also designed to put less of a magnetic pull on the extremely light strings that Iommi uses, thus easing his playing with two prosthetic fingertips, a feature made all the more important by the extremely slack C-sharp tuning the Sabbath Axeman often uses. You see, at the age of 18, the left-handed guitarist lost the tips of the middle finger ring fingers on his right hand in a machine press accident. Today, JD offers a signature Old Boy in both right and left-handed models. Old Boy also carries a shadow Valor combination bridge tailpiece with individually adjustable saddles and fine tuners and an odd looking assortment of knobs that actually perform only straightforward volume and tone duties. The bridge pickup tone control is disabled. Other than its distinctive crucifix fingerboard inlays though, Old Boy is probably best known for its worn peeling finish. It would be easy to assume its paint had fallen prey to the rigors of touring with one of the world's fiercest metal bands, but the deteriorating finish was in fact the casualty of an early guitar guitar that was rushed through production by Diggins to meet a Sabbath tour deadline. As Diggins recalls on the JDGuitars.com site, the lacquer was still soft when it was taken to the U.S., and it was this factor combined with severe changes in the temperature and humidity that caused the paint to crack and flake off, giving the old boy the well-worn look that it has today. Either way, the look suits the guitar that has peeled off some of the meanest riffs in the history of rock with a little help from several mammoth Laney amp stacks and a left-handed metal maestro. You can find more about famous guitars in the Ultimate Star Guitars book Expanded Edition by David Hunter. And there you are. There's your episode number 29 of Famous Guitars, Tony Iommi and his SG Old Boy Guitar. And like, share, and follow for more Famous Guitars.